Hey guys, and welcome on into today's NBA pick video play for Thursday's action, November 9th, 2017. In today's video, we're going to be going over this contest here between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Sacramento Kings, and who we think has the better betting edge against the spread. To get all of our NBA plays, you can check those out over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So the road team today, the 76ers coming in as about six and a half point favorites here. 76ers look like they could be the real deal. This is obviously a franchise that's had a lot of really bad years over the past half decade, or even more so than that. Uh, it looks like a lot of their top draft picks are finally uh, starting to show some signs of paying off as Ben Simmons, as well as Joel Embiid. Both are very significant matchup issues pretty much against any team that the 76ers are going to be playing against this year. In terms of being for real, I equate that to being the 76ers as a playoff potential team in the Eastern Conference. And so far this season, the 76ers have certainly been respectable. They stand 6-4 and four overall. They're coming off of quite an impressive streak where they've picked up five wins in a row, including wins on the road against Western Conference opponents, the Dallas Mavericks, the Houston Rockets, and in their last outing, on the road against the Jazz, picking up that one by a final of 104 to 97. And that was with without Joel Embiid in the game. So extremely impressive win there for the 76ers. They're going to try to carry this momentum into this matchup against the Sacramento Kings, who are actually one of the weaker opponents that the uh, 76ers have gone against as of late. This team has shown that they can get the job done against quality opposition while also taking care of business in the games that they're expected to win. On the year right now, this group has been led by Joel Embiid. He just got an impressive game for a center and a guy that sat out as much as Embiid has in recent years. He doesn't show any signs of rust. And Ben Simmons seems to be a really good running mate for him. Uh, he's able to get him in really good spots to show off uh, not just his uh, game down low in the paint, but also his very solid jumper for a guy of his size. And Ben Simmons might not be the greatest shooter, but he has a lot of hints of Giannis Antetokounmpo in his game. He's very lengthy. He seems like he can get into the paint at will and get to the bucket and just get extremely consistent shots down there. And also he's been a great distributor, averaging eight assists per contest. He's been exactly what the doctor has ordered here for this Philadelphia group on the year. This group, they rank 11th in the NBA in scoring average 21st in total team defense uh, but a couple of things that really separate them from the pack they're second in the NBA in assists as well as fourth in team rebounding if they keep up those kind of numbers they're going to continue to have a lot of success going forward so their home team today the Sacramento Kings nobody expected this group to have a whole lot of success especially playing in the Western Conference right now just standing two and eight overall this is a group that doesn't have uh, very good veteran players and they're mixed in with a lot of young guys and that is just not typically a situation where you're going to have a whole lot of success. Zach Randolph, he seems to be still having uh, an itch to play. He's been in the league a lot of years. He's getting very old. Um, but right now leading this team, averaging 12.8 points per game. And that's a big issue right now with the Sacramento Kings. They have a lot of guys that can average in that, you know, 8 to 12 point range, but not a lot of guys that are just stepping up on a consistent basis and being those go-to offensive players on a night-to-night -night, uh, basis for this group. And when your leading scorer is under 13 points per game, that's just not a great sign for a group that's been able to uh, not figure things out in terms of their lineup and finding out who's going to be their best options to be uh, those scoring threats on a game-to-game uh, situation but on the year right now not a surprise the Kings are dead last in the NBA in scoring average putting up under 94 points per contest through 28th and rebounding 26th in assists and their defense has also not been that great either their plus minus is about minus 10 points on the year in comparison to the 76ers who have been more even in terms of those numbers but as of late, the 76ers have certainly been doing a lot of positive progress on their plus minus, giving it, getting it to about an even point right now after getting off to a slower start to the regular season. But the 76ers, they've been looking like one of the top teams in basketball over the last couple of weeks, playing with a lot of confidence. Embiid should be back, ready to go here after getting some rest in that last outing against the Jazz. And that's all pointing to the Philadelphia 76ers being able to continue to go on, grab another win here today. And we like them to go on to cover this manageable uh, six and a half point spread. So that's going to be our play, guys, for today's action. Siding with the road team, taking the Philadelphia 76ers, giving those six and a half points. And again, to get all of our NBA plays, you can check those out over at stumpthespread.com, link down in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in, and we hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.